Fit Legs and welcome back to our Mummy Matters Back to Fit workout program. So today is workout number three and this takes us to the halfway point. Workout number three is going to involve six exercises. Again, we're targeting upper body, lower body and core exercises. All you need for this workout is a mat. We don't need any other equipment. We're going to keep it really simple and use our body weights to do the work. Our work time again is going to be 40 seconds and our rest is 15 seconds. In workout one and two, we've bolted two exercises together at a time, performing three sets of each. For this workout, we're going to bolt three exercises together and then another three exercises. And we're still going to be performing three sets of each. So it's going to feel a little bit more intense possibly. Again, make sure you choose the level and the option that you're comfortable with. Take a rest at any point if you need it. That is absolutely fine. And remember to keep smiling and enjoy the workout. We'll see you at the end. Okay, so here we go for the first three exercises. We've got a lateral squat first. So nice bent knees. We're gonna take your left leg out first of all. So a big step outwards, push back in. So we're adding in some movement. This requires some balance and core stability. So pull that belly button in towards the back. Relax the shoulders and lift the chest. Your gaze needs to remain forward and your weight is being pushed through that heel that's moving. Excellent. So bend the knee and just make sure you're comfortable with that range of movement. There we go. So we're going to repeat the same thing on the opposite side. You've got 15 seconds to recover and just shake the legs. So really concentrating on your form for this exercise. Are we ready? Right leg this time. Hands on your hips or out in front. Back to a lateral squat. So keeping that knee really nice and soft as you come out. A nice big step outwards. And just perform the movement as you feel comfortable. There's no need to push too much. If you can't get the depth in the movement and the 90 degree angle, that's no problem. Just keep the movement smaller. You can just lessen the range of movement if you need to. Great start. There we go. Okay, so we're on the floor next. Into a tricep press up position. So our hands are going to be underneath the shoulders. You can either take a on your hands and knees or you can come forwards, drop the hips and we'll just drop down and back up. Head in line with the rest of the body and your gaze is to the floor but slightly forwards. You want to keep those elbows close to your body so they should be brushing the side of your body. Now this is quite a tough version of a press up targeting the back of your arms into the triceps, really good for the core, so pulling that belly button in and just really making sure those elbows aren't flaring outwards, remember your option is here if you need to take it, brilliant, your next exercise, third one, legs up, elbows out, and we are going to cross over. We're going to cycle the legs round. So start off nice and slow until you've got the movement. The opposite elbow goes to the opposite knee. And you should feel that working into the obliques and the abdominals. So the muscles in the side here. want to adapt the exercise, you can just leave your feet on the floor, slightly raise the knee from the floor, or just the arms to the over. Whatever you're most comfortable with. Brilliant, so that's the first three exercises done. We've got two more sets. So get yourself set up for the squat position, and a lateral squat with your left leg first. Are we ready? Let's go for round two. So we're nice and warm now. The muscles are warming up. They're starting to work. And we are starting to feel good. Is that right? 
<laughs> so pull the belly button in towards the back, relax the shoulders down. All of these teaching points are really important to reinforce just so you're aware of your technique and your form. So good exercise technique makes more effective training and better results. How are we getting on with that leg? Really that start to work. There we go. Feeling that into the quads now. Look into the hamstrings and the glutes as well. Opposite leg. Take a breather. Take a nice deep breath. Excellent. Okay, so we're going on the right leg exactly the same again. Nice big steps. And we always like a little bit of a challenge if you can. So try to step that little bit further. Or come deeper down into the movement. Bend the knees slightly more. And remember that weight needs to come through your heels. Try not to take the weight through the knee. Brilliant. Stand nice and tall. And you're just tipping forward slightly from the hips. Excellent. So this is great for just raising the heart rate as well. You can hear me sort of starting to breathe a bit more now. So, try to step press up, down to the floor. Take whichever option you want. Okay, you're working at your own level here. So either your box position or three quarter. So if you're in your three quarter position, straight line from the knee to your shoulders. And off we go. So your knees should be about hip distance apart. Your gaze to the floor but slightly forwards and your hands should be underneath the shoulders. This gets quite tough, this exercise. So stay with it. Keep a slight bend in those elbows at the top of the movement. Try up with the triceps. There we go, quick stretch out if you need it. And we're going into our cycling legs. Again, take the option you are most comfortable with. So legs at 90 degrees if you're taking that higher level. Here we go, cross over. And just make it a smooth movement, a smooth transition between your left and right. You only want to lift your head and your shoulders slightly off the floor. And keep it really slow and controlled. Remember your options, if you do need to adapt what you're doing, just try to keep some movement going if you can. We are almost there. There we go. Okay, so that's our second set completed. Okay, set number three and final set with these three exercises. You're doing really, really well should be feeling warmer now. So our lateral squat, left leg first. Here we go. Big step and push back in. Get the balance. Remember if you need to, take your hands out in front. It might help you to balance. It might help control the movement a little bit more. Drive through the heel as you come up. That's it. Not to worry if you lose your balance, just reset. Take your time, take a breather if you need to. Brilliant. Keep that chest nice and high. Shoulders relaxed. How's the heart rate? It's pumping a little bit more now. Okay, legs are nice and warm. You can feel those working. And it's great because they're the big muscles and they're going to burn lots of calories for us as well. Okay, so right side coming up. Here we go, nice big step. So remember if you're ever uncomfortable with any leg exercises, but you are comfortable with a basic squat, you can just return to a static squat. All right, if you are more comfortable to do so, you're still working the muscles. Keep smiling, we're almost there. We've almost done the first round of three exercises. Great 
great all round workout this one. Tricep press ups. We're going to face the other way this time. Choose your option, whichever option and level you want to. Box or three quarters. Hands under the shoulders. Okay. It's a great way to work your upper body and target multiple muscles. So we're not only working the triceps, we're working through the shoulders, particularly at the front. We're hitting the chest muscles as well. And we're hitting the muscles all around the core because they're having to stabilize us in this position. You're doing so well. Feel those triceps now switching on, starting to burn. I certainly can. Woo! Excellent. Okay. Cycling legs, obliques, so those muscles on either side, lift the legs up or keep them on the floor, whichever you prefer. So last time, last exercise before you get a longer recovery. And then we've got three more excellent exercises for you to do. Really controlled, keep it slow. Time under tension is very important. Those muscles are working for longer, they're working harder. Breathe. You're almost there. Perfect. Ooh. Okay, so that's round one. Really well done you, and I'll see you in a couple of minutes for round two. So welcome back to round two. Here we go for the first exercise. We've got a back lunge. So feet hip width apart, and we're gonna step backwards. So making sure that you're facing forward, you relax the shoulders. A nice big step back, 90 degree angle at the knee. If you struggle for balance, you can just perform lunge here, completely up to you. So a big step back, keep that weight through the front heel, and we're going to do one leg at a time. You're aiming for 90 degrees at the knee, and your gaze is forward. Fantastic. So opposite side, I'm going to face it away so you can see the movement on this leg. And that gets our heart rate up as well. So we're ready. Here we go. Big step back. So again, we are focusing on those quads, the hamstrings, the back of the thigh, and really good for the glutes, this one. So we're going to keep that supporting leg really strong. And we're going to keep the movement nice and slow, keeping the shoulders back and down. Big step backwards, power up. Really trying to keep that balance. So by moving, we're working the muscles on the inside of the leg and the outside. So the adductors and abductors. Again. Okay, so we're going onto the floor into a press up position. So remember this is workout number one. You can either do your box press up or your three quarter press up. Hands just wide of shoulder width apart, and this time your elbows do go outwards. So that upper body is having a really good workout today. We're targeting mainly the chest here, but also the triceps again, and the front of the shoulders. So remember you've got that option to come onto your hands and knees here, so knees under the hips, and you can form the exercise. So it doesn't matter which position you're in, engage the core muscles all around the middle. Last couple. There we go. So again, targeting the core. Now we do want the knees under the hips and the hands under the shoulders. And we're going to be moving really slow. 
slowly, one side at a time. And we're gonna alternate from right to left. So we're gonna do left arm and right leg comes up. We pause for a couple of seconds at the top and then we come down. And again, other side, this is a different variation of that Superman that we did in the workout too. So drive up. You wanna keep that middle, of, the middle of your body really still. So imagine you've got a tray of drinks on your back and you don't want them to spill. So this is using the muscles around your midsection. Be aware of your pelvic floor. Okay, lift and pull those muscles upwards and inwards. Perfect. Okay, so that's all three exercises within that set. Set number two, so we're back to our backwards lunges. Big hip width apart, shoulders relaxed, get yourself in position before you're ready to start the movement. There's absolutely no rush. So back to the legs again, giving the upper body a bit of a breather. Are we still smiling? So let's get to the end of this workout and then we're halfway through the series. So by now you might have seen a little bit of a change in your muscle definition, your strength. You just might mentally feel a lot better for doing some exercise as we all do after a workout. So if your partners have been doing the workout as well, hopefully they're enjoying it. Opposite leg. Let's go. Let's step backwards. So aiming again for the 90 degree angle at the knee. Push back. Drive up. Hands on your hips or wherever you're most comfortable with. Be aware of your posture. So trying to avoid folding forwards. The emphasis on that front leg as you drive through the heel. Really well done. Start thinking about those press ups that are up next. If you need to take a breather, take a drink at any point, you do so. We're getting through this workout. Press up position, hands, shoulders apart, and you a nice wide stance to hit the chest muscles, the knees under the hips, or Position. Your body should be in a straight line from your head to your knees. Readjust if you need to at any point. Keeping a slight bend in the elbows at the top of the movement. Feeling this now. <laughs> and we get the sweat on. I hope so. Core muscles engaged. with the exercise and breathe through the movement. There we go, we're doing so well. So Superman's next, so remember your knees under your hips and your hands under your shoulders. So alternating from right to left, you start whichever side you want to. So we lift up and we hold for a couple of seconds and we'll bring it back, back down. So we're switching on the muscles in the back, the upper back and the lower back, through the abdominals, through the shoulders and also the glutes. The glutes are firing up as you lift your leg backwards, so it's a great all around exercise just to sculpt our bodies. Excellent, doing really well. And after this, we've got one last set. All three exercises one more time. So grab a drink if you need to. We are ready for those backward lunges. Last three exercises. Okay, let's do it. Hands on your hips or by your side. 90 degree angle at the knee if you can. But remember, stay with a static lunge if you need to. Perfect.
stay with me now. The emphasis on that front leg. Drive through the front heel. Keep it really controlled. Excellent. Okay, we've got a few more seconds. Short recovery. We are doing really well. <laughs> Last leg exercise. Backward lunges. Muscles are tight, engaged. And also, always every exercise you do. Be aware to contract the pelvic floor muscles. It's really important, especially after you've had children, as we all know. So this is all really positive. We've worked multiple muscles. We've maximised the calories that we've burned today by introducing some movement doing brilliantly. Down into that press up position. Last set of press ups. My upper body feeling it now. Get yourself into position. Get comfy. Be confident with your position before you start. Let's go. So we're really trying hard now. We're going to make this to the end. Breathe in as you come down. Breathe out as you Placing your elbow onto the thigh, or you can have your hand on the thigh. 
Perfect. Bring it back. Adjust the feet so that they're doing the opposite. Come over. Stretch over the top. Body nice and line. And reach that arm. Stretch as tall and long as you can. legs in. If you need to hold on to a wall for this one, do so. Balance on one leg. Take your heel up to the glutes, push forward through the hips, bend the knees slightly of the supporting leg and just stand nice and tall. The stretch is in through the quad here, the quadriceps. Make sure the knees are in line, the shoulders are relaxed. Perfect. And swap sides. So you're concentrating on your balance. Hold your arm out if you need to. Bend the supporting leg. Remember the option to hold on to the wall. Something stable. Nice stretch down the front of the legs. They did the work in the squats and lunges. Perfect. All right, we're gonna stretch out the chest. So we work the chest in the press up exercises, we're gonna take the hands out, relaxing the shoulders. Alternatively, if that's a little bit much on the shoulders, you can place your hands onto your lower back and try and bring your elbows as close together as possible. Feel that stretch right along the front of the shoulders and the chest. Brilliant. And now we go into a tricep stretch, so one arm goes up, hand goes down the centre of the back and just gently place the hand on the tricep and your aim is to get the elbow facing up towards the ceiling. Just bend the knees for a nice relaxed stance and that feels nice to relax and stretch the muscles. Other side, again elbow facing the ceiling, standing nice and tall. Heart rate is starting to come down. Our body is starting to relax. Excellent. And just take the hands in front, push forwards, just drop the head down slightly. So I showed you sideways on. Just round the top of the back. Push the hands forward. Relax. Okay. Take a deep breath in and then breathe out. And one more. Breathe in and take your hands down the centre. Give yourself a big round of applause. You did so, so well. And I'll see you really soon for workout four.